Hey YouTube, this is Rest Music Park Fan 62. Uh, it is Friday, November 3rd at about 6 30. Um, in today's video, I'm here to talk about more of the merger between Six Flags and Zenith Fair. Now, a lot of this is my opinion, so let's get started. Now, the biggest things coming out of this is going to be what parks are going to be the parks that they focus on the most? Because with Cedar Fair, typically the parks they focus on the most is Six Fly, um, Cedar Point, Kings Island, Knott's Berry Farm, um, Carowinds. Uh, and now they just started focusing more on the smaller parks. Does that mean going forward, they're still going to in incorporate that strategy? Or Six Flags, typically the parks they deal with the most is Six Flags Fiesta Texas. They started focusing more on over Texas a little bit. Um, you have Magic Mountain, A Great Adventure, A Great America. Um, now, other parts like New England and them, um, not as much. But the ones that are going to be interesting in this mix is going to be parts like Six Flags St. Louis, Six Flags America, um, Frontier City, Darien Lake, and all that. Now, the thing with Frontier City and Darien Lake. Six Flags is not fully run those. They just operate the day-to-day -day operations. Now, the part that's going to be interesting about those is, are those still going to be a thing they're going to do? Because, unfortunately, now, if this merger does go through, um, and we won't know if it fully goes through until early <laughs> next year, um, unfortunately, there are going to be cuts um, to help save money. You just got to think, what are these thing cuts going to be? Um, and unfortunately, I could see parks being on the chopping block as part of these cuts to help get rid of some of this debt and stuff like that. So a lot of these smaller parks with both chains, unfortunately, could or could not be on the chopping block. Now you're going to have to ask yourself, okay, if that's the case, what's going to happen to those parks? Honestly, that's going to be a decision for those parks because going through this before, it's not a pleasant thing. And unfortunately... With these part, with some of these parks, there it's going to be a challenge because they're because especially when you get parks like Cedar Point, Six Flags Magic Mountain, Six Flags Great Adventure, Kings Island, uh, Carowinds, um, Knott's Berry Farm, which is open year round, um, and Six Flags Fiesta Texas, Six Flags Over Texas. Those are the parks that are open that usually help bring in a lot of money for those chains. What does that mean for these parks? Because I'm sure both of these chains had stuff going forward for a lot of these parks. So, like, stuff like Iron Menace at Dorney next year is still probably going on because as I've seen, constructions has started. Now, I do know that I have heard stuff like um, the log flume at Over Texas is not happening. They're just, I think, going to remodel it, supposedly. I'm not sure. Uh, but 
a lot of these projects going forward, you're going to have to think, is this going to happen? Now, the next thing that I saw, and this brings up a valid point, who are they going to work with? Because Six Flags and Cedar Fair both work with different people. Six Flags has a good relationship with Rocky Mountain Construction. Cedar Fair doesn't really. So that's going to be one of the big things. So um, the other thing you have to think about as well is going to be what are they going to do to bring in more people to these parks? Because... They're going to try and bring in as many people into these parks as they can to try and get their money back. The question is how are they going to do that? The other big thing into this as well is going to be, for Six Flags at least, the copyright for DC Comics Looney Tunes. Because Cedar Fair Parks don't have those in those parks. They have Snoopy. Unfortunately, one of the things I can start to see probably around the end of next year into 2025 is going to be incorporated into the parks, into at least the bigger parks, will be stuff like DC areas, Looney Tunes areas, uh, and have that sort of stuff incorporated into these parks. Um, the thing, for example, uh, Amusement Insider did a great video yesterday on this, talking about Canada's Wonderland. Um, like for Kings Island, for example, I could see them turning Action Zone into something like DC Comics area or something like that. I, if that's the case, I don't know. But... It's going to be that sort of stuff, unfortunately. So that's one of the things we're going to have to see going forward is how do we incorporate all of that into these parts. Um, the next thing is going to be the markets for these parts. Because the market, because the people who go to Six Flags parks are completely different than who go to Cedar Fair parks. So that's going to be one of the big things you're going to have to figure out. The next thing is going to be uh, season passes. Because a lot of people would get a season pass for Six Flags and Cedar Fair. So the thing I can see that's going to happen probably for Six Fl or Cedar for season pass renewal next year is going to be a pass that's going to get you into both Cedar Fair Parks and Six Flags Parks. Now, the part that's going to be interesting about that is going to be, is are they still going to have the dining plan? Are they, are they going to let you have snacks? Um, and so forth. So that's one of the big things. Um, the next thing is... You know, how is this exactly going to work? Because I'm sure there's still going to be a lot of uncertainty going forward. So that a lot, there's going to be a lot of unknowns at this point. So I want to hear from you. What do you think? What do you think is going to happen? Um, now, the other thing I just thought about that is going to be an interesting thing going forward is going to be the names of some of this stuff. Like, does that mean they're going to, with the Cedar Fair water parks, does that mean they're going to start going, calling it, like, I'm using Kings Island as an example. Um, this right now, Kings Island is called um, Soak City. Does that mean it's going to be called Hurricane Harbor or what? So that there is going to be a lot of unknowns and this is going to be stuff we're going to have to look 